tell you first, Kiwi, or will we tell, tell Macca first? Um, because he's nearly as excited as what you are about playing the first game, which is great, because it tells, it tells us a little bit about your journey, but it also tells us a little bit about the blokes that have helped you, and there's no one at our club that's helped you more than him. And I'm sure that you'll acknowledge that. Um, and that's why you're presenting the jumper, Max. I won't talk too much longer. I don't want to steal too much of your thunder. Outside of saying you're the first native Kiwi to go through this path. You're a pioneer, lad. You're the first one to have done it. There have been lots of New Zealanders that's come and played our game before. Swash and Crow and Savage and all these sorts of guys, plenty more. But these, uh, but the, the ones who have actually started off playing another sport and then you've come across here and trying to make this year you go, you're the first one, mate. So um, that takes a fair, fair bit of courage to do what you've done. Um, but it also takes a lot of determination. It's a new game that you've had to learn, um, and it's a great credit to you, great credit to you too, Maka, um, and our footy club, but more particularly you two guys for getting you to this point to play a first game. But as I said in the meeting before, it's not about <coughs> just playing one game, mate. There's plenty that can play one game. We're looking for blokes that can play in premiership sides, and that's why eventually when you get the chance, you give yourself a chance to be doing that too, all right? So, great stuff. What an first game, mate. Back over to you, Jan. Thanks, Marco. <laughs> Uh, Faye sent through the, the text message this morning to, to confirm that Kurt was playing, so I tried to have a bit of a think about uh, the past, and the thing that I couldn't get out of my head was the comment, the Kiwis are coming, which is something that I've just heard consistently for the last four or five years, whether it be out there, whether it be a text message, whether it be a phone call out of, out of nowhere, where on the end of the line the blokes just going, the Kiwis are coming, the Kiwis are coming, and I've heard that for four or five years, and finally, it's arrived. So, Kurt, mate, you've been through a, a lot. You've worked a lot in your game. You came over here at 15, 16 years of age. Um, the sacrifice to leave your family, leave your home, is probably something that not many of us would have done at 15, 16 years of age. So, to do that and come over is, is, a, is a great effort and a great reward is this game tomorrow. Uh, probably a lot of learnings throughout uh, your career in the past few years. He was officially signed to this club in 2010, so it's been six years uh, being a part on the scholarship. And been through a lot, I always remember his first official rookie list training session pre-season. Rocked up here after I got the phone call the day before going, the Kiwis are coming, the Kiwis are coming. And he's gone out to train, and 10 minutes in, he starts spewing. It's only a 20 minute session, and he's over on his haunches, spewing his guts up. I thought we're in a bit of trouble here. <laughs> However, we just found out that he's uh, had bacon and eggs for breakfast with some sausages for his first pre-season training session. <laughs> <laughs> I thought not a great start, but he's learned a lot since then. I don't think he ate breakfast for probably the next year or so, but um, for what you've done, Kurt, the extra sessions in regards to your skills is, is annoying at times, but it's got you to where you are today. The one thing I know that the teammates can count on for tomorrow is your ability to compete. And the trust that they'll have in you to do that is where you've got to today. Is that ability to compete is your number one thing. That's your strength. No matter all the work that you've done throughout your skills and everything, your ability to compete is what the guys tomorrow can trust you with and know that you're going to, you're going to come with tomorrow. Uh, just to leave what Clarko said, I know it probably won't sink in tomorrow, but the first born and bred New Zealander to, to play AFL football. I mean, that's a massive thing. It's a massive thing for your parents. Uh, Laurie and Julie, I know they, they'll be proud. And, uh, mate, congratulations. All the best. And uh, come up and accept the jumper. Um, no, I'd just like to thank the coaching staff for um, having faith in me to... Um, Get here. It's been a long journey. Um, thanks to everyone else that's helped me um, get here. And yeah, hopefully I'm um, not the last um, New Zealand New Zealander um, with a jumper. So I'm uh, looking forward to playing with you boys tomorrow. So yeah, cheers.